Well, good morning, Pine Mouth. Another beautiful day lies ahead for you, similar to this one with the sun coming up. That's actually far too much cloud cover. It kind of depends on which direction you're looking, though, because there is some out there off in the distance, generally towards the north and the east, which it's the direction we're looking here from Forest General Hospital in Hattiesburg. Looking pretty good. The sun is up. Morning mist. Yeah, you can see it's just a little bit on the tree line there, but we'll lose that as we start to warm away from these low 50s and upper 40s. Still on the chilly to cool side and looking amazing here from the new and improved uh, USM camera. I wonder if that was a golden eagle flying there. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? But anyway, lots of good stuff going on here as well. We'll talk about uh, with the weekend forecast coming up and uh, big homestanding. It's my old, uh, mine and uh, Patrick's alma mater. So uh, we'll still pull for the Eagles, so don't worry. So your completely arbitrary school day letter grade forecast for today, an A minus, A for the continued beautiful conditions that we've enjoyed, minus because we are getting hotter than uh, average today, slightly, and we'll see a rising humidity, which today won't be too big of a deal, but for the foreseeable future after that, things are going to be downright muggy and uh, warming too. You see those 90s there? It's a good handful of degrees above average. Average this time of year would be about 82, 83. So that's a good bit above. Plus factor in the humidity that we'll be seeing around then, that's gonna bump your heat index a little bit higher than that. So we're gonna be seeing some of those a little bit early, going to look a lot like July to August. And the reason is still because of this omega block that's uh, above our heads and the jet stream, still a closed low, though it is starting to break. So things will finally start to move, but it just kind of moves overhead and still lingers a little bit longer than it otherwise would. And then once this finally breaks, which is it's all washing out by the start of next week, there's some more upper level ridges that are gonna come in, which generally means good weather, but it is also going to add to the heating, compressional heating when we have an upper level high and a surface high, it just pushes all the available air molecules down and they move around a little bit more and raises your temperature a couple degrees. No big deal though, but we're getting hot and humid enough that those random sh summer showers are going to start pop up. And as I said, to start the show, nobody's more frustrated uh, by these than meteorologists because we know they're coming, but there's almost no way to tell exactly where they're going to be. And they're still not even guaranteed uh, out there because there was one point last week where Monday looked completely clear. Uh, I still had the 30% there, but now you're seeing it's picking up on that moisture and uh, available uh, to develop these showers. So nothing's expected today at all, but once we start heading in tomorrow, we can't rule out that there will be a shower popping up. We'll see these boundaries move in, a stationary boundary or a, a, just a low, a, a low pressure feature, like a little wiggle in the pressure field move by. And that's all these need with the warmth and the humidity that we'll have. Uh, in the afternoon to get a few showers going. And that's really all we expect to see, showers. Every now and then, one of those showers has a small chance of overachieving into a thunderstorm, and then that thunderstorm has an even smaller chance of overachieving into a severe thunderstorm. So we really don't expect any severe weather. I believe there's a level one risk for Saturday afternoon, uh, but pretty much a level one risk could exist for every single one of these, especially if any of them develop into one of those afternoon thunderstorms. So mostly just stray showers as we are in August for next week, but we will see a little bit more rain as we finish it off, and that will cool things down a tad.